hello friends welcome back so in this video there are many people who are who are very much interested to work in IT companies or software companies they do not have any coding experience but still their dream is to work for a software company or an IT company because if you work for an IT company or a software company the salary would be really good compared to any uh, sectors you can get up to 10 to 20 lakhs so in this video i will be providing a 10 important uh, it jobs which you can take up even without having any coding experience the first role is a business analyst role this is a first role which i am talking here this is a role ba role doesn't involve any coding experience in job is to work with the clients or management team to understand the overall functional aspects of a given application or their business models and based on that that information requests to be passed on to the stakeholders or to the implementation team for implementing it that is the overall uh, roles and responsibilities of the business analyst which you can still take it up even without having any programming skills. The, then the second role is technical support engineer. If any company, any software company gets an issue from the client, this is the team, first they will get the issue. Once this team gets the issue, they will do a lot of research about this issue, why this issue is coming out and diagnosing, troubleshooting and trying to resolve without changing any code or without uh, doing anything from the back end side so it is a more of uh, the configurational issue or they just follow certain guidelines and they'll try to help the client by asking them to go through those steps and execute it so in order to take up this opportunity technical support engineer you should have a good understanding on the functional sides of the various application or support various systems or software which you are going to support including various operating systems which you will be working upon for these softwares so this is a more of a, a technical support engineer for this kind of roles you may not be required to have any programming skills to take up this role then the third important role which is ux designer ux designer we are talking about any web application any mobile application or any application in that matter everything requires to be developed front end in a very beautiful manner and it is very easily accessible manner and it is very user friendly manner so the complete the ui design or ux design will be performed by this ux designer and its his main job would be drawing those ui elements and putting everything in appropriate places in the mobile application or a web page as per the ux guidelines so that is the main roles and responsibilities of ux designer even this role also doesn't require any programming skills or any coding knowledge then the fourth is manual tester so manual tester is a another job which you can still take it up even without having any programming skills main thing is if you have a functional knowledge knowledge on a particular application or knowledge on a particular product then you can take up this job by having certain trainings the main job of this manual tester is to test a given application or a product which could be web based or mobile based and main job of manual tester is finding a issue and uh, retesting the issue and reporting back to the other stakeholders this is the main role of a manual tester even the the manual tester role doesn't require any coding skills as long as you are well versed in the testing methodologies testing processes which you can easily learn and you can contribute to go to these roles without even having programming skills then the fifth role which you can take up in any software company which is system administrator the system administrator also doesn't require any programming skills only skills he required is have a good understanding on the operating systems computer networks databases and certain security 
software you should be well versed these softwares our operating systems can easily learn even without having any programming skills then the sixth role is data analyst so data analyst is also a new role is getting uh, added these years and the main role of this uh, data analyst role is will be verifying all the data all the information available in the database by using various tools using those analysis and you will inform the appropriate stakeholders on the information available and how we can use those information by extracting using various tools and so that he can provide a recommendation it could be a recommendation for sales or recommendation for further improvement or whatever that is the main job of uh, data analyst and in order to work for as a data analyst definitely you should have a good understanding on a database technologies but this also can be easily learnable even without having any programming skills or a coding skills in the seventh important uh, role is graphic designer the graphic designer role is also a very important role these days it could be when whenever you are developing a mobile app whenever you are developing a website or whenever you are developing your company website and so on there are a lot of images will be used lot of visuals will be used lot of illustrations will be used lot of logos will be used banners will be used ads will be used in order to design all these aspects the graphic designers will be required for every software company so that gap will be filled by this graphic designer and even the graphic designer role also doesn't require any programming skills or a coding skills then the eighth important role is sap consultant and which is functional his role is to drive the business meetings with the client team and the implementation team or a technical team and he develops the business documents by understanding the existing application then you will try to gather the requirements and you will be passing on those requirements back to the tech, uh, technical consultants for the implementation the post implementation by the technical team you will be configuring the sap system to run as per the client requirement that is the main roles and responsibility of sap consultant functional even this role also doesn't require any technical knowledge or any programming skills or coding skills is required only thing you should learn is sap knowledge you should have it then the ninth the role is information architect the main job of information architect is will be part of a user experience team and you will be ordering and presenting the lot of information on the website sales mobile apps websites creates lot of information structure based on the usability guidelines and based on the market research and behavioral trend of the end user so based on that the information architect will design the overall uh, the goal for the end user for a given application or a product even this role also doesn't require any coding or a programming skills then the last one is content marketing manager these days every company will have a mobile app every company will have their own website definitely in order to gain the traction for mobile app or a website in the online then content marketing manager role is very crucial and their main roles and responsibilities including their main role is to develop the online contents including the emails company websites company social media ads and so on you will be looking after all these aspects and you will also do lot of uh, ab testing that would help to improve the designs improve the ads improve the views in the social media you will be putting a right strategy for the content marketing as well and you will be looking after all the other people like graphic designer copywriter editors by this content marketing manager even this role also doesn't require any programming skills or a coding skills 
I'm hoping you guys got a clear idea now. If you are interested to take up any job in IT industry or a software company, definitely you can take up this 10 opportunity where this 10 opportunity doesn't require any experience in coding or programming skill, but still you can you can get the good salary ranging from 10 to 20 lakhs over the period based on your experience. I am hoping this video was very useful for you. If you guys really like this video, then please give a thumbs up to this video. If you guys are not subscribed, then do subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.